for the first presenter, it's coming from Muhammad Rifansha, Amelia Kurniawati, and Nurdinintia Atari Supratman. So the topic is about student activities recommendation to achieve first job waiting time target of graduates. Hmm, nice. In Telkom University decision three approach. Okay, so uh, please welcome for uh, Muhammad Rifansha, Amelia, and Nurdintia Atari Supratman. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm Rizky Adam from Swiss German University. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Does everyone can can see my share screen? Yes. Okay. Let's get started. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good. Good morning. Well, uh, I am Mamari Fansyah here to to present my, my my paper and my paper topic is student activities recommendation to achieve first job waiting time target of graduates in telecom university decision tree approach yeah. and then this is our outline the first one is introduction the second method the third one is result and discussion and the fourth is conclusion and then for the introduction telecom university has a mission to allow to improve the quality of the institution consistently. One of the key performance indicators, quality of the end educational institution is the performance of student in undergoing the lecture process. Performance measurement can be seen from the length of time a student first job search, which if the longer student experience the duration of the first job waiting time, means that the, the value of the university will also pop. And then there is a graph, as you can see, this graph is a comparison between a student who experienced the first job search time for more than three months and less equal than three months. And then as you can see, for the x-axis represent the time series from 2016 and to 2018. And for the y-axis represents the percentage comparison between a student who, who experienced the first job search time for more mm. than three months and less equal than three months. Yeah. At, as as you can see from this graphic there is a increasing an, a number percentage a student who experienced the first job search time for more than three months from 2016 until the 2018 which means as you can see uh, from the orange line it has a uh, increasing the graph as you can see from at 2016 it has 80% and at 2017 it has 19% and at the 2018 has 45 54% and then as we as, as we can conclude there is a problem at at Telkom University from from this graphic yeah. and, and then for uh, for the method it has four. The first one is pre uh, preparation stage. At this pre preparation stage, it, it contains the background and the problem of this research. And then for the data collection and data processing time, it has descriptive analysis uh, up to the century uh, making process. And then for the analysis and discussion stage, it contains a role, a role identification, model comparison, identification of of attributes value and and creating recommendation system and uh, at the at the final the conclusion and the suggestion stage it's a final stage to conclude all this research process and output and, and this sample i'm sorry the sample student was used was from the industrial engineering faculty electrical engineering faculty and computer faculty with a total 728 students. Hmm. The, the, the students data with the attribute of the length of the time for the first job search, GPA, study periods, his, history of the type of organization followed and history of the position followed. And then uh, for the 
you know, for the results and, and discussion, it has descriptive analysis and decision tree. For the descriptive analysis, based on 728 uh, student sample, it has 10% student who, who who got a job before graduate, and then and then it has for, 47 student. I'm sorry, 47% student who got a job less equal than three months, and then there the, there is for 47 43 percent student who got a job more than three months and then uh, and then there, there's a descriptive analysis for gpa and and, and study, study periods uh, which is contain the minimal value quartile one median quartile three and maximal value and then for the for uh, and then for the decision tree making process mm -hmm. the first thing is we mm -hmm. are we are doing splitting data with 80% and 20% ratio, and then the 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 80% is for data training, the the 20% is for data testing, and and this thing is is based on Pareto principle, and then for the and then as after this we are we are going to this entry making process. It has to to scenarios. The first scenario. Is is we are using all all of the attributes, mm. which is contains the study periods, GPA, mm -hmm. uh, X one, X two, X three, X four, X five, X six, Y one, Y two, Y three, and Y four, mm. and then and then for the scenario one, we are using five attributes. Hello. With the highest gain in GPA. Hello. I think you bit uh, lost your connection. Please continue. Oh, pardon me. Okay. Uh, and then uh, after this, mm -hmm. after after we are creating to 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 decision trees, we we are we are making the 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 table comparison of uh, of these two decision tree. As you can see. Mm -hmm. It has different uh, tree size, knots, and accuracy. Because of the decision tree scenario one, it's more accurate than the decision tree scenario two. So we are going to use this decision tree scenario one for for creating the the recommendation system. And then for the conclusion, the accuracy of the model is fifty. 54.7 percent with three attributes which are concerned the the, the, the gps score state study periods and and attending educational listening or arts organization and then the 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 recommendation system algorithm is meant to provide input the students to carry out certain student activities so that they they do not experience a graduate waiting period of more than three months and then for the for the research, it can be continued with with more or, or or other variables, and and using different different classification approach to make a model with higher accuracy. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I think that's all from me. Uh, thank you for your attention and time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, uh, Mas uh, Muhammad Rifansha from Telkom University. Uh, it's very very interesting uh, topic. Yeah, it's about student activities recommendation to achieve first job waiting time target of graduates in Telkom University. For uh, 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 I noticed that your sample is actually uh, from three faculties. Correct yes. me if I'm wrong. Yeah, from uh, industrial engineering. Elect, uh, sorry, electronic and computer. Computing. Yeah, computing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so please, any question from the floor from Bapak Ibu? Oh, uh, we have uh, Mas Muhammad Rifansha, yeah? uh, one question from Pak Eka Budiarto. So the question is how, do you, how did you choose the attributes to be used for the classification in your study and especially the set of attributes that gives the better accuracy? Hmm. 
excuse me ah uh, okay ya yeah. terima kasih ah from my from my research i was using a uh, based on from from tracer study data from year 2017 until 2018 and then, uh, and then and which is which which is help from student fairs data and then, uh, and then i was using um, attribute selection with with gain ratio uh, because of this is a uh, this is a uh, because of i was using a uh, uh, a uh, decision tree approach of course and then uh, after after that after that i can after that i am using the the uh, and then after that i am using uh, attribute it uh, it has a good uh, i mean a uh, 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 high value of of gain ratio Oke, okay. oh, oke, okay. <laughs> ya, <laughs> oke. Okay. Hopefully uh, that answer uh, Pak Eka Budiarto's question ya, Pak Eka. Uh, if you want to, uh, oke, okay. ya, yeah. <laughs> oke. Okay. I have a question, uh, Mas Muhammad uh, Divansyah. Ya, yeah. okay. so uh, in your case, in your study, actually you use decision tree approach, right? Yes. Yeah. So based on your uh, study, I believe that every researcher in the beginning, of course, will observe and will explore any possibility for uh, the the tools that we're gonna use in our study, right? So right. before so before you chose uh, decision tree approach, actually, uh, 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 how many approach that available for you in this case, and why at the end you perceive that decision tree approach is the best tools for your case hmm. okay the first reason is i uh, i was using decision tree because of my 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 target variable it has three three class which uh, which is yes. it has zero which is zero one and two Yeah. And, then, uh, and, then, and then I believe uh, when I using software R, especially especially um, C C 5.0 algorithm, it mm -hmm. can it can classify mm -hmm. more than two two levels. And then two labels, more than two uh, labels. More than two labels. Okay. Mm, and then, uh, because, uh, and then, uh, reason why I am am using the tree yeah. because the, the 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 first of all, it's easy to understand. Okay. And then the and then the second one, the tree shows in the graphic. Okay. Then, uh, Can, yeah. Okay. Can we choose another classification approach? Hmm. Would it be different if we choose another classification approach, or in your case, that your uh, pro, uh, uh, your topic must be like you know, like uh, must be solved with decision tree approach? Okay. In my in my opinion, if the mm -hmm. if the variable target output it has mm -hmm. it has two level. Maybe we can use another approach like 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 SVM. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe uh, sorry, uh, sorry, SVM. SVM, yeah, support support vector machine. Okay, well, and then, okay. And then the other one, maybe I am forget the other subject. Okay, <laughs> pardon me. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Because why am I asking this here? Because uh, uh, it's very interesting yeah, to know a different approach or a different uh, techniques. Yeah, so yeah. I believe that it will be uh, very informative for the audience here to know uh, actually in the reality or in the practice that 
researcher can use this approach, second approach, and the third approach. And for the first approach, the most uh, feature or the most benefit why we use it because blah, 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 blah. But for the second approach, blah, 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 blah. So for the next uh, investigation, yeah, for the future researcher, they can, you know, like they will really know uh, a lot of techniques and they will choose uh, for their uh, own case yeah last question uh pa rifan shah yeah uh in your slide now yeah in our slide in our sorry in our screen uh, you conclude that for further research it can be continued with other or more variables have you detected or have you identified yeah what is the next potential variables that you can or that the others researcher can add in their study hmm. in my in my opinion maybe the the history of student has has attended of webinar uh, seminar webinar or or another like a competition eh, competition and eh, hmm. and another and then maybe like additional program during the university's life? Yes. Then, and then, hmm, what else? Maybe that's it for now. <laughs> okay. Uh, have, you, have, you have you disseminated these findings in uh, your institution, Telkom University? So, uh, um, I mean, yeah, what kind of feedbacks from your institution regarding uh, whether your findings can be used or can be give some, you know, like um, insights yeah, for the university to be applied. Mm. Have you disseminated these findings first? I'm just curious, yeah. I'm just uh, curious. <laughs> pardon me. Uh, I didn't understand what, what oh. the word does it. Disseminating what? <laughs> Have you share have you share your research findings to Telkom University? So maybe mm -hmm. good, you know, like uh, this case is about Telkom University a student, right? Yes. So uh, is there any like um, feedbacks from your institution regarding their own students? Oh, uh, or this okay. is the first time you disseminate your papers. Uh, the first time. <laughs> oh, okay. It's Thank you so time. much for Econetsi. <laughs> the first time. Sorry. I'm sorry. I think we have one more question, yeah, from the floor. Uh, it's from Rafael Pra. Sorry, uh, Rafael Fradio. Should the recommendation algorithm be used in real life, especially considering it's crucial for students to have a job, yeah, within three months, but with only fifty-four point seven percent accuracy? Mm. What do you think, uh, Mas? Uh, well, mm. well mm, from my uh, perspective, uh, maybe uh, maybe it is better we are we are try try to use another approach first. We uh, yeah. which if uh, which if another approach which if uh, maybe the 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 accuracy model. Maybe higher than uh, than this, maybe about more eighty, mm -hmm. and then and then, hmm, well, I can think of, <laughs> mm. Do you think you can't, you know, do you think you can't uh, uh, apply your recommendation algorithm? Mm. Sure, sure, I think. <laughs> yeah. mm. Mm. <laughs> Do you still want to have, you know, share something? Mm. Done. Then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the point is, yeah, you uh, 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 you suggest that I mean your recommendation algorithm can be used yeah for uh, apa uh, in the real life so. Uh, thank you so much, Mas Muhammad Rifansha. So no more question from me, no more question as well from the audience.